Is this the same vaccine that Dr. Mason? Mm -hmm. This is the one that was based entirely on Dr. Mason's research. Okay. Yes. What is the exact name of it? It's the, I just hear it called the AT. Canine osteosarcoma vaccine is the exact name of the product. That's pretty simple. <laughs> that's okay. pretty easy. That uh, was referred to as AT014 previously, but that's the sort of name that was given to it before it became conditionally licensed. Yeah. So why is it called a vaccine? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people would say that a vaccine would refer to something that you're giving to try to prevent a problem from happening rather than something you're giving you know, after a problem has been diagnosed. Um, but there are many different types of vaccines. Um, some vaccines are given prophylactically, others are given therapeutically. This is referred to as a therapeutic vaccine, specifically because our goal is to stimulate a patient's immune system to attack the cancer. And so it is just another a vaccine in this sense is just referring to something that stimulates a patient's immune system with an end result being in this case that, it, you know, that the immune system attacks the cancer. The actual injection is fairly short in duration, um, but then there's monitoring after that to make sure that they tolerate it okay and recover okay from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what kind of potential side effects mm -hmm. are there? And so whenever you give an immunotherapy, depending on how specific the product is, you may see an immune reaction you know, that the body mounts because of it. And so we sometimes see fevers, uh, sometimes gastrointestinal upset. Uh, those sorts of things because the body's reacting to the presence of this intravenously administered immunostimulant. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. yeah, but generally speaking, they're quite short term, mm -hmm. um, fortunately. Yeah. So that's why we keep patients in the hospital to monitor them for a fever, um, lethargy, gastrointestinal upset like vomiting or diarrhea, mm -hmm. uh, those sorts of things. So it's kind of similar to what somebody could expect when going through chemo. Yeah, ironically, yes, um, and actually with a little higher incidence than when we give chemo, typically, honestly, meaning many patients develop these side effects. Um, fortunately, because they're short term, it's usually, and most of them happen here in the hospital, you know, because we're monitoring them very closely after the administration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is the ideal candidate mm -hmm. for this? So the ideal candidate is a patient who has undergone an amputation for osteosarcoma, obviously, and who is otherwise healthy and has undergone a regimen of chemotherapy. Okay. Yeah, those are the patients that are admitted into the trial portion, the, the ongoing trial portion, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, completed a course of chemotherapy, which may be four doses of carboplatin or six doses of carboplatin. Um, that's usually the standard of care these days, although occasionally we see patients who receive doxorubicin or other drugs who in this portion of the trial could still be ad administered the, the treatment. Do you ever see the vaccine taking the place of chemo or metronomics? It's mm -hmm. a good question and we don't know the answer to that yet. But in the study all the dogs had an amputation, all of the dogs had chemo and then they went on to get the vaccine. It was a very homogeneous population, which is important when you're doing trials to make sure that you can assess the effectiveness of a product, you know. So at this point, we don't know the answer to your question um, because the dogs have not been studied in those ways yet. Um, and so there will, over many years, be a lot of patients getting this treatment, and not all of them will be the standard sort of situation that we've studied up to this point and we don't know how effective it will be in other circumstances. Yeah. How many sessions are in a treatment? So once one's qualified for... Three doses. So three separate doses, how far apart? Every three weeks. So three weeks apart, three doses. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then we have clients come for one checkup after three weeks after the last treatment. Clients come just for a checkup, mm -hmm. just to make sure everything's okay.